Let us go. Get him, Master. Yeah, when I come back, Luke was working on the buggy side and I didn't know what had happened, but yeah, he wasn't happy. Yes, we got two. Yes. Okay, it's not squealed. Good dogs, get over me. Welcome back to Wells Adventures. We're just uh, out here this morning, come out for an early morning run, and uh, we'll stay tonight and yeah, head home tomorrow. As we're head, headed in, we've probably seen about 20 odd pigs. So we'll unload this now, jump in the buggy, and um, yeah, get into it. Uh, this morning, we're running bull, and we've just got him on a quick release clip here. We we'll let Huey off, so we'll let Huey go first. Blake will hold master and let him go next. And then, um, and then we'll unclip both. We've got young Chiefy in the front here. He'll uh, join in there somewhere as well. And then we've got the two little pups here, the next generation. We've got young Steggles, big Sally here, their brother and sister. Young CJ there. <laughs> but um, we've just got him in the crate because we don't want him slipping out under here while we're um, driving along chasing some pigs. So that's the plan, let's get going. To the right there. Let us go. Get a pig, good boys. Get him, master. Get him, master. Get him, master. Get him, mate. Good boy, get him. Good boy, get him. Here he's a good pig. Um, it's a little ball, probably about 50 kilos, 55 kilos. There's a few about at the moment, so hopefully we can run into some more. The buggy, after I've washed it, the pan must have seized a bit. And uh, anyway, we got up here and the, she's, she's, over, she's overheating and boiling. So I've managed to cool it down, but we've got no coolant left. And I've managed to get the fan, I think, spinning again. But I'm um, just waiting for it to hopefully pick on now. Yeah, good start to the trip. Might be back to the car yet. So there we go. It's not, it sounds a bit rough, rough but it's going so Good thing we're not real good mechanics, so. Managed to uh, get away with this time, I think. Just put the guard back on. It's a good start other than the bike. We got two pigs out of that little mob then, so um, it was a pretty good effort. The dogs went out to about 500 metres, something like that. And um, yeah, and got that board as you've seen and um, yeah when I come back Luke was working on the buggy so I, hadn't, I didn't know what had happened but yeah, he wasn't happy now he is he's went good didn't you hey buff and master okay. probably just go at him if anything and I'll run the dogs on they got a fair start get a pig Good boys. Get a pig, Master. Get a pig. Yes, we got two. Yes. So we just got them two. Dogs done well. We'll fit the first one, and here we uh, run on and grabbed another one. So that was really good. Young pups had a bit of a look. Yeah, getting the numbers down. Pigs are pigs are pig. It's bloody awesome. Keep going now and try and get a few more before it gets too hot and then we'll head back for fish. Go for a nice swim, nice beverage down by the river. Sounds good. Get him, boy, get him, 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 get him,
Get him, boy, get him. Get him, mate, get him. Oh. <laughs> Bob just took me out. Just got another two. Only little mob fellas, but um, there's a little boar and a sow. And there was a bit bigger one I had a shot at. I had two shots at. Um, you ran up into the into the scrub there. But um, no, it's good. We've got seven for the morning. Nothing real big yet. As we're driving up, there's a few more pigs over here under the tree there, but they're going to head straight for the scrub as we head up there, so we'll worry about them later on the Sava, I reckon. All right, so we just got back here. Just went and picked up some kayaks from the trailer there. Gonna go for a fish and uh, pretty well relax. We're camping here for the for the night. We have checked the weather to make sure there's no flash flooding or anything, so it's looking all good. What did we get for the morning? Eight pigs. Eight pigs. Nothing, nothing massive. Nothing too big, but dogs hunted well, and the pup's got a bit of work. Luke and I are just gonna go out in the kayaks for a fish. See if we can get a cod or a yellow belly. We're gonna try a um, surface lure, a Robert Taylor surface lure. It's a cod walloper. And Luke's gonna just put on a little belly buster and it's a diver to see um, what works better at the moment. It's in the middle of the day, so it's probably not the best time, but we'll see how um, we'll see how we go. Hopefully we can get something. It's nice and warm, so we're just killing a bit of time and then we'll go out another pig chase this afternoon and see if we can get some more. Got one? Yes. Yeah. He'll go off once he sees the kayaks and he's not coming up. Yeah it is. Good. Yeah. Get us a net. It's a good size cord. Uh, just up under the willow tree. It's a nice, nice big fish. Absolutely awesome. Little ugly, ugly stick rod. The eight pound line. It's a belly buster. Orange and purple colour. We're going to um, going to keep him. Promise the girls a feed of fish if we caught them. <laughs> so we'll um, we'll keep him and then yeah, any of the girls will release. But. He's a nice sized fish to eat. Um, they're an awesome eating fish if anyone ever hasn't eaten them before. Strongly recommend it for a freshwater fish. They're just next level. Cook you up later. Better? Yeah, a little bit. Cut this up into little chunks and then uh, we'll put them in a batter. We're just taking the same team as this morning. We've got Boof, Master, uh, Huey on the other side, Young Chiefy in the footwell. CJ and the two pups in the crate and then later on we'll get Rog out and um, yeah go have another look at another side of the property so should be good we'll uh, get going now snake on the uh, fence here now it might be a brown I don't know yeah it's not a red belly I don't know what it is I'm not a snake person <laughs> don't know it looks dangerous but all every snake does so Good dogs. Yeah, it's not squealing. It's not squealing. Good dogs, get over him. Get him, boys, get him. Good dogs, get over him. Get him, Huey, get him. Yeah, he's good pig. Get over him. Get over him, Huey, get him. Get him, Huey, get him. Oh, big sear. Big Here's a big sow. We just uh, got Boof, uh, left the buggy, 
ran out into a big open flat and then back into some real thick scrub so we knew we could drive around um, just as well because the the, UA, um, the GPS dropped out but um, she'd have to be close to 100 she's she's just she's just a ball of fat like it's just unreal she you'd think she's been in a domestic pig pen um, judging on the fat rolls on her big effort from the dogs oh and especially from bush the little sheepy helped me out in the end stirring her up we'll go back and we'll swap Huey over for Roger bloody good start Here's this ball we just got. We just swapped over dogs. We put um, Rog and Mighty up on the back, kept Buff with us. We didn't get a lot of the footage, we just got the end part. So um, yeah, driving straight up on him, but it was a good, um, yeah, good close pick this time. We're not long got up, it's about um, 6 o'clock now, um, we're just going to go out in the top paddocks here and all the open country and see if we can see some pigs out on them, taking Master and Big Mighty. Just the two pups with Rog so hopefully he can, um, hopefully he can teach them a thing or two. Master, here! Here! Come on, let's get him! Get him, please! Here, come! Where's another pig? Get another one, Rog! Rog just took off again! Oh, did he? Yeah, killed it and took off! <laughs> Running up here from that last little pig Rog got. And Blake said he left it. Kept going. He, oh, in this thick country. Good boy, Rog. Good boy, Rog. Good boy. Yeah. Here's the sow. Rog just pulled up um, about 250 metres away from that last little um, piglet the dog's got. We've seen a mob running out on the open country and took off up into the bush. And then they end up getting that first little pig. And then Rog wasn't happy with that, kept going out to another like 250 metres. It was a really good effort by Rog, he done well. Alright, we uh, just got back. I only got oh, that little little slip in the sow there this morning with Rog. Uh, it's been a good trip. Slowly pack up and make our way, way out of here. If you enjoyed the episode, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot and it's free. And uh, till next time, we'll see you out there. Snapped, I'll tell you what, you you'd want to start hiking. George, home. you would be a hard glass half. <laughs> you'd be half drowning, I'd say, because I'd half be. Empty. You don't want to stand here and, and go in front of the camera. Yeah, we're just going to go down there, we're going to smash a 1200mm cod just straight. What, what happened, mate? Did you, um... Well, I got ahead of myself and I, I uh, tied the lure on and didn't bring it through all my eyelets, so. <laughs> Good start, real good start. <laughs> I'm not the fisherman, Blake's the fisherman. Well mate, you don't have to be a fisherman to get through the <laughs> pilots. I know, but still. Taking our gazebo, turned it into mince meat. So we're not long just got up. Um, Put up with Blake while he's tired, it's always fun. 
And uh, yeah. Sucker basher. <laughs> <laughs>